On a brisk day at Bob Wren Stadium in Athens, Ohio, the Bobcat baseball team took to the field for a one-game weekday series against Youngstown State. Now, it was close through the first four innings, but the Penguins used two big frames late in the game to win it 11-4. Ohio starter Jake Miller came into the contest sporting an ERA over 12, but you wouldn't have guessed it early on in this one. In his first four innings, Miller didn't allow a run and only allowed one hit, all while racking up three strikeouts and issuing just two walks. In the second, the Bobcat Bats used a few Penguin mistakes to plate the game's first run. Tyler Wells got on base when none of Youngstown State's players were able to catch his routine infield pop-up. Three batters later, Nick Bredesen's slow grounder ate up Penguin shortstop Shane Willoughby, allowing Wells to score. Ohio had two chances to break the game open early. Batting average leader Mitch Longo grounded out with a man on third to end the second inning. In the fourth, the Bobcats had runners on second and third. Shortstop Tyler Finkler faced a favorable 3-1 count and Longo sat on deck. But Finkler struck out looking to end the frame and that's when the floodgates seemed to open. Miller started the fifth by surrendering two walks and a double before being pulled from the game. Two Ohio relievers allowed four runs to give Youngstown State a big lead, and the Penguins never looked back. Ohio tacked on a second run in the bottom of the fifth to pull within two, but the damage was done. Youngstown State scorched Ohio's bullpen, outscoring the Cats 7-2 in the final four innings, including a four-run eighth frame that saw the Penguins bat around their lineup. Struggles with command on the mound proved to be the Achilles heel for Ohio. As I told the team, you know, this, this losing streak will continue if we continue to walk batters at the rate that we're doing. Um, it's just no more complicated than that. Baseball is a pretty simple game. Throw it over the plate, make routine plays, you know, get uh, timely hitting, and you'll win a lot of games. The loss drops the Bobcats' record to 4-17 and on the season. The Bobcats will return to MAC play on Friday at home again to face off against Western Michigan. For WB Sports, I'm Nathan Tackage.